Hey guys, welcome back. This is Drekkit. Uh, this is episode 5 of A Green Skies, the Mucking About Edition. I am still working on the Soul Sand. I did uh, make a little eternal water or whatever you want to call it, infinite, infinite water, uh, a little bit closer. I have gotten one whole nether wart now out of, I believe, nine pieces of Soul Sand. I think I got an extra nether quartz once. Um, my voice may be a little bit scratchy today. Um, coming down with a code or something but I was mainly wanting to, to level up my hatchet real quick just to show you all the mechanic um, so right now you can see it's got XP 149 out of 150 so if I cut a block I should go up a level and let's see what we get ooh we got auto repair so that's not a horrible thing to get it would have been nicer on a, an item that's harder to repair than when it's made out of this, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, I also uh, upgraded my garden just a little bit, added a couple more uh, carrot plants because um, I was going through the carrots faster than they were growing, and also planted a few wheat so I can uh, be able to make bread and also for any recipes that need wheat and for the seeds. So, multiple reasons for that. Uh, so I'm going to uh, la let y'all go again. I was just uh, wanting to catch that uh, level up on uh, the episode for the axe just since it was my first tool to level. Um, and getting that auto repair actually reminded me um, I need to get some uh, mossy cobble stuff going. Um, wrong chest. Um, let's see. If you plant cobble over here around, that might cause me a problem with it that close to my bed later, so let's not put it there. But if you plant it next to, and that probably might cause issues too, let's just do it there. Next to a bucket of water, it will actually convert this um, to mossy, and I can't jump and click. I'm not sure if this will all convert, but I know quite a bit of it does. So let's give it a test and see which ones do. Um, but the Mossy is used for making the auto repair upgrade just for some of my other tools like um, the pickaxe needs nether, uh, netherrack and I won't be getting netherrack it doesn't look like anytime soon. So uh, definitely worth having a repair on that and then as I increase and get additional um, tools I'll probably put repair on quite a few just because it's a good way of saving resources um, but anyway I will be back I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get um, some clay going and then uh, work on those tinker construct items and uh, probably start my mob generator I'm not a hundred percent sure where I want to put it though so I might end up delaying that to next episode we'll just kind of see how it goes so I'll be right back talk to you later hey guys welcome back I've been working a little bit I'm ready to uh, make some of that tinkers construct stuff but first I had remembered there was another item I wanted to make which was the watering can so uh, this is a really handy item um, need four smooth stone, a bone mill, and a bowl. So let's get that together real quick. I think a bowl is just like that, which I may have some bowls. Or was that? No, I don't think I made any. There we go. And I'm getting some weird glitchy stuff again. Let's see, so. Let's get the recipe up there, and I don't have the bone mill with me, but there's some right here. And this will give us a watering can. The watering can is really nice because it will accelerate the growth rate of plants. So let's sleep real quick because I don't want to spawn monsters quite yet. But this will help out a whole lot with our um, food issue because CCS is at 86%. We just 
click on it and you'll see everything grows a whole lot faster so instead of uh, having to sit here forever waiting for stuff to grow you can actually um, use this it's it's kind of a poor man's um, bone meal it allows us to get um, some items a little bit faster this way you can always use it on um, uh, saplings also you just have to be careful you know not to um, catch yourself in the sapling I have uh, made a mistake of standing too close to a sapling and get stuck inside the wood once before and that wasn't fun uh, but this will also help a whole lot I should have thought to make this earlier when I was running low on food but I completely forgot about it um, but yep so this is it and I will uh, probably do this off camera I'm sure you've already seen more of it than you want um, I'm going to chop down this tree real quick Because, as you know, we're going to need a lot of dirt later. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple times, and I want to make sure that I remember to break these whenever they're ready. And I try to do this off camera most of the time, but since I was out here, I'll do this one real quick. If the other one grows, I'll just get it later. So let's go work on our tinkers construct. So here's the list. We need a seared tank, a smeltery controller, a smeltery drain, seared faucet, casting table, and seared bricks. So all those pretty much need uh, to make, uh, we'll show you a recipe real quick. We need these the seared brick so to make a seared brick you just cook a piece of grout to get grout you get one piece of sand one clay ball and a gravel or you can do it with the block recipe that gives you eight um, I am going to do this recipe uh, because I think it's a lot easier more efficient well, it's probably same efficiency but you don't have to break the blocks up so we're going to need five of these and I'm not even sure if it has to be in a certain order or not, so we'll find out here in a second. Oh, there we go, give us 32. I think we may need a little bit more than that, but we'll go ahead and start them cooking. I know I need glass for at least one of the recipes. Uh, let's go get us some more uh, dust going. Oh, did we have one? Oh, that was limestone. I don't know why it didn't stack with the other limestone. It's kind of weird. We'll go ahead and make up, uh, let's see, we need eight more. Uh, that's not good. And I apologize for being a little bit spastic. I am definitely feeling my cold. I'm hoping by the time I record my next episode, I won't be quite as spacey. Um, but I wanted to get this one out because I need to have it posted for Tuesday. So um, hopefully for Thursday's episode, I'll be feeling better. Um, I guess we'll see in a couple days. But this should get us hopefully enough just to get this um, accomplishment and see what it unlocks because it's supposed to uh, unlock three new quests. Let's try this in just a, a different random order. Yep, okay, so it is shapeless. So that gets us up to 40, which I believe is enough for all of our um, uses. And I will cut out this part while we're standing here watching or make it go like four times as fast or something. So I'll stop talking for one minute. Be right back. Okay, guys, it's pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and start working. Those last three will, will cook. So I know I need one of these. Sweet. Oh, I'll get a new book. I'll have to look at that. Let's see. I think uh, casting basin. I don't think that was one. Casting table. I was in there. I think a circle smelter controller was in there. I think like that. Yep. Smeltery drain. Uh, yep. 
faucet. Let's see. I'm trying to remember one, two, three, four. I think the last one is the one that uses the glass, and it's like the controller, but with the glass in the center. Gives us the sear tank. So I think that's everything. Hope that it go too super fast. There we go. And because of the uh, choices, usually you know this would be one where I'd you know have someone choose for if it was things that I cared about. But I'm not really excited about full hearts because I'm just you know hoarding them. Uh, a sapling. I'm thinking there may be a way to make these saplings. I've already gotten four of these as rewards. So I'm thinking we'll just kick the reward bag. So let's see what we get out of this one. So our reward bag is coming and this is a good one. So hopefully it's actually good. Ooh, spaghetti and meatballs. So that's a, that's a good meal. Um, it will be more filling than a standard meal, but you know, food's not a super big issue, but, you know, we'll take it. It's better than, I don't know, a piece of gunpowder. I'm sure there's lots of, of worse ones I could get. And let's look and see what the other uh, items or the new quests on here are. So, we've got Moving Molten Metals, Casting Call. And I'm guessing, yep, still powered flight. So this one, pour molten sear stone over the, <laughs> good spelling, the materials in me book in a casting table to make the steel work guidebook. So we need to make a steel work guidebook. We need scorched bricks for that. Oh no, that's a reward. We need molten seared stone. So that's probably something we'll need to make our uh, stuff for first make our uh, tinkers construct uh, smeltery um, this one here we need to make an ingot cast and a pick axe cast those are pretty easy uh, get some decent rewards in uh, it's a furry net's good for catching uh, liquid slime bucket and reward bag. I'm not sure which one's the best of those I'll have to think about it but these I think are a little bit ways we definitely need a figure out where I want to build my smeltery so um, getting to the point where I'm gonna have to do some major terraforming I think this may end up being a short episode just because I don't want to do a whole bunch of terraforming yet because I really need to map out where I want things so uh, at this moment I've got a smeltery to build I've got a mob grinder to build and probably I uh, need to work on deciding where I want to put my, um, I guess, friendly spawn area for the chance of stuff like uh, cows and sheep and chickens to have a chance to spawn. So I need to get all that kind of figured out in my head and then we'll start implementing it next episode. Um, I think this is probably going to be a short episode today. Uh, I guess kind of averages out for a couple that were a little bit over 20 minutes. Um, I don't have anything real quick that I think I can do. I'm going to be, you know, having to make a lot more stuff, you know. I'm only up eight saplings right now, um, so I need a lot of work towards um, getting uh, more dirt. I think I've already got uh, my dirt on here. Yeah, three pieces of dirt right now. So I definitely have a lot of work to do in the sapling department too. So I'll probably spend a few hours off camera uh, and then start up episode 5 with my master plan and start uh, implementing um, some builds so I won't probably let y'all or, or make you watch the entire builds um, if anyone shows interest I might put those as a, you know, a bonus episode just have you know, a, a quick view of me uh, building stuff out and uh, one of my daughters said that she may be starting to play so we might be able to see uh, another name in a distance or, or someone's name on the death meter if they happen to die. Um, well, hopefully uh, she'll be dropping in maybe uh, next episode. At least say hi if, you know, probably just in chat because neither one of us will be able to visit for a while. Um, but other than that, I think that wraps up this episode. Thanks as always for watching. 
I'm still taking uh, suggestions for the numbers and anything that y'all want to see me do. And uh, please uh, like this episode if you like it. Uh, leave comments if you don't. I can always uh, try and improve my product. I am definitely uh, doing this for me because I enjoy to play and I like to record. But also, you know, if there's something I can do to make it better, I'd like to know. So thanks always for watching and I will talk to y'all later. Goodbye.